So now that we've had this for a period of time, it's probably a good idea that we do some sort of a follow-up. What have you been up to? I've been riding on a daydream. And this has been probably one of the most powerful low-end bikes that we've owned. Uh, the range is pretty typical for most of the uh, bikes that have this kind of a battery in it. And remember, these are the uh, Samsung LG cell batteries, uh, so they're the better batteries. But the way that they have their, um, well, let's see what I want to call it, the uh, programmer, the controller set up, whenever you hit that throttle, um, this thing... It, it could potentially pull a wheelie <laughs> um, without pedaling. Now, of course, that's if you set it up, uh, you know, for it having the most power available just for that reason. Its design, as far as being compact, is equal to any of the fold-up bikes that we've had. Uh, of course, the tires are pretty standard. Um, you could get pretty much any brand name tire that comes with these bikes and they pretty much all do the same uh, as far as going down the road you're going to hear a little bit of noise whenever you're trekking down the road uh, at a pretty good clip but there is a good reason for that you know whenever you get into a sandy situation uh, dirt roads and believe it or not even though you know we're in a location here that's all paved we've already went out and actually caught ourselves in some sandy situations uh, back quite a ways in the other part of the campground so having those extra tires, you know, the extra size tires, I've had some people that have, I don't think, fully understood the situation of why you would want those tires. Of course, if you're going to ride on city sidewalks exclusively, or you have to pull this thing, uh, fold it up and carry it up into your, uh, you know, your apartment or something like that up steps, or you're bringing it into your workplace, obviously, you want a small tire, smaller folding bike altogether, but don't expect the kind of comfort and even potentially the ability to ride long distances uh, that you get with this one. Of course, having a front suspension, but more importantly, these tires add comfort. They add an extra uh, level of suspension that is built into the tire due to the fact that the tires have more air in them and they've got more bounce to them. Um, not only that, but it's safer. So, I, again, I think there were some people that are misinformed about that, uh, that didn't understand. Uh, they were actually making comments about, well, if I want a folding bike, why would I get something that's fat tire? Well, you know, obviously, uh, if you're riding on the beach, that's, that's a no-brainer. But other than that, you run into a lot of situations where, for example, maybe the sidewalk's closed. You have to go off-road for a short time. Uh, to get around an area that or th through an area that there is no sidewalk and like I said even at the campground here to explore you know there's a trail that goes around this lake here and I can hop on this bike and do it easily now we've had other bikes that don't have decent sized tires and it wouldn't be able to negotiate that terrain at all the company has a good warranty uh, they have good communication uh, they've put together a good product the one thing that I'll have to say that stands out on this, other than the low end power on this, which is really good, so I'm sure hill climbing on this is incredible. Other than that, uh, the display is easy to read, easy to navigate. The brakes, being hydraulic brakes, are just far superior than anything we've had really in the past. But more importantly, even though I'm colorblind, this paint is automotive grade quality it is a great paint job i mean they've spent some time doing this and just look how finished everything is it is a quality that we haven't seen except on a couple other brands this is a, a good product overall so let's go ahead and give you some shots of this thing driving around and uh i again i think this is a no-brainer um so links are going to be in the description click the links this is a launch of this product so as far as it having a uh, discount they are doing random sales on it but right now since it's a brand new product they are just trying to get an idea of how many people are going to go for this step through design that is extra low and also um, has this torque sensor built into it also with cadence 
so you have a better response whenever you're riding it. Um, it it's, it's unique. But yeah, so let's go ahead and enjoy the rest of the ride. And if you're thinking about this, use the links in the description and it'll take you right to this model. A couple different choices. Like I said, you can get yourself a purple or this red. Uh, actually, it's more of a blue, I guess. See, I'm colorblind, so uh, you'll have to click the link, go to the website, and see what they have to offer. And look to see if it's on sale, see if there's a better price on this. But yeah, this is a good, good bike. So enjoy the ride, and uh, as we say at all of end of our videos, hope to see you out there.